adulation and fanfare greeted Pope Francis today at Washington's National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception. A trumpeting musical salute and a booming chorus of voices sounded as the Pope there going through the massive sanctuary. The entrance set the stage for the Pope's first ever celebration of Holy Mass in the United States. And one of those there in attendance? Our Archbishop Gregory Amen. I sat down with the Archbishop shortly before he left for D.C. to discuss the new pontiff and his impact on the Catholic faith. For Archbishop Gregory Amen, it doesn't get much bigger than this. They don't happen every day, and it's very historic. Amen says Pope Francis, whom he calls a well liked, vivacious leader, has a great appreciation for the United States. He knows that it's a church that's alive, especially compared to some other parts of the world, and he knows that it's a powerful nation. And so he has an opportunity um, not only to visit with us, but also to share his hopes and dreams and what he believes God is asking of us as a nation. Amen thinks the Holy Father's message while in the U.S. will be a multifaceted one with many challenges to the church and the nation, including an increased awareness of serving the poor. We're the richest nation in the world. Do we really reach out to the poor, who he has a very, very important soft spot for, and he should. I think he will probably be prophetic in terms of the Congress um, talking about economy and also talking about immigration. Now, those are purely my guesses. I have not written his talks, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> As for Pope Francis himself, a man who does things his own way, he has opened eyes across the world since succeeding Pope Benedict in 2013. He does have an interesting style, and, and I must say it's a style that I deeply respect. Amen says that style, which has been called revolutionary by many, allows him to be able to see the challenges and issues within the church, name them, pray about them, and seek advice. We've seen that recently, you know, in terms of the um, giving permission for all priests to be able to absolve the sin of abortion, though it didn't affect us in this diocese and most places of the United States. In some places, that was huge. But the pontiff's style hasn't pleased everyone. He has called for transparency and integrity in the church, saying there is no place for politics. Amon points out that Pope Francis has not changed church doctrine, only protocol and canon law, which is man-made law. I think what is consistent about Pope Francis that you cannot argue with is that he has a heart that is merciful. And he wants to show the heart of mercy from Christ. And Amen says that's all that matters to Francis, showing mercy and reaching out to those who could be forgotten. I think it's who he is, but I also think it's a way of calling us, uh, all of us in the church, those of us who are leaders in the church, uh, are we living simple lives?